This is a Hulot self-propelled Compact 12DX. Those who intend to use any machine with characteristics of weight, height, width, length or complexity, which differ significantly to the training they have received, should ensure that they receive a familiarisation to cover the differences. It is the employer's responsibility to ensure that all operators using equipment are adequately trained and familiarised to comply with current health and safety legislation. Machine specific familiarisation should follow on from basic training and cover the manufacturer's instructions and warnings, features of the specific model, control functions, safety devices and emergency lowering procedures. All of the above are to be found in the operator's manual supplied with the machine. The maximum working height is 12.15 metres. The maximum platform height is 10.15 metres. The overall width of the machine is 1.8 metres. The overall length of the machine is 2.65 metres. Overall length with the stabilisers is 3.06 metres. The height of the machine when lowered is 2.54 metres. The maximum capacity of the platform is 450 kilograms or 3 people. The maximum load on the extension deck is 150 kilograms. The maximum lateral or manual side force is 40 decanewtons. The maximum wind speed is 45 kilometers per hour. The maximum slope of the chassis is 3 degrees. The maximum travel gradient is 40%. The weight of the machine can differ. Please refer to the serial plate located on the machine for information regarding this. Main components. Number one, front steering wheels. Two, platform. Three, extension deck. Four, operator's manual compartment. Five, platform controls. Six, safety guardrails. Seven, platform access ladder. Eight, ground controls. Nine, rear wheels. 10, anchor points. 11, hydraulic tank. 12, chassis. 13, platform access bar. 14 and 15, canopies. The operator's manual is contained in the black box which is located in the platform. Ensure the operator's manual is the correct type for the machine and that is fully legible and complete. Before operation, the machine must be visually inspected by the operator. Visually inspect the whole machine. If you do find a fault, isolate, tag and report the machine. Do not attempt any repairs to the machine. Identify the thorough examination plate and ensure that the machine is in date. Locate the manufacturer's data plate and ensure that serial number corresponds with the thorough examination serial number. Look for any missing or loose parts. Check the condition of all nuts, retainers, connections and hoses. Ensure that there are no hydraulic leaks. Check the condition of wheels. Look at tyres. Check for wheel nuts. Check all hydraulic cylinders. Look for any condition of hydraulic leaks. Inspect the platform and the scissor arms looking for any visible damage, wear and tear, deformation. Check the condition of the control box, power cables. Check the presence of the manufacturer's serial plate. Look for any warning labels, decals. Check the condition of the safety bar and access bar. The bar should open and close freely. It must not be tied up. Check the engine and ensure the engine oil is the correct level. Check the diesel tank and ensure there's sufficient diesel in the tank. Check the engine and look for any leaks and damage to any components. Locate the battery and ensure the battery is connected correctly and secured. Before checking any batteries, ensure that you are wearing the correct personal protective equipment. Located on your machine are labels. It is necessary to read the instructions appearing on them. All of the labels comply with the following colour code. Red. 
indicates a potential mortal danger. Orange indicates a danger which may cause serious injury. Yellow indicates a danger which may cause material damage or slight injury. So safety systems, load overload control. When this maximum load is reached, the platform panel's overload light indicator comes on and a buzzer sounds to alert the operator. The control circuit is automatically broken, disabling all movements except lift. The load must be removed to reset this. Tilt control. When the machine is unfolded, the tilt control detector emits an audible signal as long as the slope remains greater than the maximum tilt allowed. If the situation persists after a time delay of 1 to 2 seconds, the scissor lift movement command and travel command are disabled as long as the machine remains elevated. To restore use of the travel movement, the whole scissor assembly must be lowered down. There are three travel speeds available, low, medium and high travel speed. These travel speeds are only allowed when the machine is completely lowered. When the platform is elevated, only elevated drive or micro speed will be possible. For maintenance purposes and inspection, to prevent the scissor lift from lowering, there is a maintenance support strut which is able to be placed and positioned to prevent the scissor lift from lowering. Please ensure this is fitted into place before commencing any inspection of the inside of the scissor pack. Hydraulic ramping. Your machine may have hydraulic ramping built into it by design. This means that the machine may not stop immediately when a controller is released. Number one, red emergency stop button. Two, hour counter. Three, chassis platform control station selection. Four, flashing light. This is optional equipment. Five, up and down selection switch. 6. Engine start. 7. Oil light indicator. 8. Oil pressure indicator. 9. Battery charge light indicator. 10. Air filter clogged light indicator. Number 11 is key to open the control panel. 1A. Stabilizer extend control. 1B. Stabilizer retract control. 2. Horn 3. Travel speed selection. There are three travel speed selections. Snail, tortoise and hare. 4. Power on indicator. 5. Engine start button. 6. Platform, elevate and lower selector switch. 7. Differential blocking switch. 8. Red emergency stop button. 9. Drive and steer controller. 10. Enable button. 11. Centralized stabilizer control or auto leveling jacks. 12. Indicators for movement selection. 13. Indicators for the stabilizer state. 14. Overload light indicator. 15 diesel or LPG selection switch. Manual extension of the slide out deck. The platform is equipped with a single manual extension with several possible positions. To extend or retract the extension, take hold of the two handles which are provided either side of the platform. Lift them by 90 degrees, then push them in the direction of the movement required. Lifting the handle automatically releases the extension position holding lock. To lock the extension in place, lower the handle down which will lock it into its position. During movement, always ensure that the locks are fully down and the extension deck is locked. Wonder leading or dog walking. It may be possible to use the upper control platform when standing on the ground next to the machine. When using the controller in this way, always ensure that the control box is correctly orientated around to the chassis and that you are standing clear of the machine. Once you have completed your pre-use check, then you need to complete machine function checks. Put the key into the base and turn to ground. Please note that this key may be spring-loaded and returned to the centre, so this will mean that you will have to hold the key over 
to the base position. Pull out the red emergency stop. Now using your other hand, start the engine. The engine will now start. Let the engine run up for a period of time to warm it up. Now ensure that the emergency stop button works by pushing in the red emergency stop button. The machine and engine will now switch off. Restart the engine. Holding the key over to the ground control position, use the platform elevate and platform lower switch to ensure that the machine raises and lowers. Emergency lowering. Restart the engine and use the control now to elevate the scissor platform up into the air. Now walk to the rear of the machine and located beneath and in between the steps you will identify the emergency lowering handle. Now taking hold of the handle, pull towards you. The scissor pack will now lower. Please ensure that you keep your hands and body parts away from the scissor pack as it is lowering. Ensure that the scissor pack lowers fully to the ground. Platform function checks. Position the key to platform. Ensure that the ground emergency stop is pulled out. Climb up into the platform using three points of contact. Ensure that the guardrail, once opened, will close behind you. Position the control box. The control box should be orientated round to the chassis and direction of the machine. Pull out the red emergency stop button. You will see the lights flash and a beep occur. Press the engine start button. The engine will now start. To test the emergency stop, push in the red emergency stop. The engine should now stop. To drive the machine, will depend on which type of speed you wish to achieve. This will either be using the snail, tortoise or the hare. To drive the machine, you will notice on the front of the drive controller there is enable button. The machine will not drive unless you hold the enable button. So selecting your speed, now squeeze the enable button and drive forwards and backwards. Check the steering by using the rocker switch on top of the drive control handle. Ensure that the machine steers left and right. Elevating the machine. Press the platform selector switch. You will notice that the green light now will come on. Now using the control, squeeze the trigger and push the control forward. This will now raise the platform. Pulling the control backwards will lower the platform. Please note, when lowering to the ground, the machine will not fully lower. It will stop approximately 1.5 meters in the air. To recommence lowering, ensure that the platform green light button is on and squeeze the trigger and pull the control backwards. The platform should now lower to the ground. Always make sure that the platform is fully lowered before climbing out of the steps at the rear of the machine. Stabilizer extension and retraction. Activate the stabilizer buttons. Activating the four buttons at the same time slow down the stabilizer extension. When the stabilizers are extending, the buzzer will sound and the light indicating the corresponding stabilizer will flash. The light will flash quickly if the cylinder is extended but not in contact with the ground. The light will remain on if the cylinder is extended and in contact with the ground. The light will flash slowly if the cylinder is totally extended. Platform lifting will only be allowed when the machine is fully stabilized and all four lights are indicated and on. Alternatively, use the auto level to lower the stabilizers to the ground. To retract the stabilizers, activate the stabilizer buttons. Hold the button down until the light indicator corresponding to the stabilizer goes out. When all lights are out, this indicates that all stabilizers have now been fully retracted. Please note that the machine will not drive unless all stabilizers are in the retracted position. Platform lowering without the engine on. In the elevated position, pull out the red emergency stop. 
Now selecting the platform lift and lowering button, ensure the light comes on. Now using the lower control, squeeze the trigger and pull the handle backwards. The machine will now lower under gravity. Again, this will stop elevated at 1.5 meters. Release the handle for approximately five seconds, then hold the control and lower again to the ground. When parking the machine, ensure that the machine is on firm level ground. Push in the red emergency stop at the platform and on the ground and ensure that you remove the key.